Okay, so uh, here's some problems uh, on your first homework for probability. It says in a certain algebra two class of 26 students, 21 of them play basketball and seven of them play baseball. There are two students who play neither sport. What is the probability that a student chosen randomly from the class plays both basketball and baseball? I would actually do a two-way table uh, representing this data. So in this two-way table, I would put basketball at the top, basketball. I'd put baseball on the side. So uh, they either play, so yes, they play basketball, no, they don't, and then the total. Yes, no, and then the total. Okay. So row, row, column, column. Okay, so there is a total of 26 students. So your total, your grand total is 26. 21 of them play basketball. Basketball, yes, so this column totals to 21. Seven of them play baseball. Baseball, yes, seven. Two, uh, play neither sport. So no, no, that's this box right here. Two, play neither. And now from that, we can find every other box because again, the rows and columns must add to the totals. So 26 minus 21 is five and 21 plus five is 26. 26 minus seven is 19 and seven and 19 is 26. Same thing here. 19 minus two is 17. Five minus two is three. Seven minus four is, or seven minus three is four and four and 17 is 21. So now you wanna find the probability that they play basketball and baseball. Basketball and baseball, that is the yes and the yes. That is this box right there, four out of 26 play basketball or baseball. Uh, divide that by two, divide that by two, two out of 13 is the simplified fraction. Now, if they asked for or baseball, say this was or, well then we would look at all the basketballs, 21, all the baseballs, seven. But then do you see where these two overlap on that four? Those four students are counted in both the basketball and baseball. So you have to subtract them one time. This is that general addition rule when these uh, events have some overlap. And that would be the or probability. 21 plus seven is uh, 28 minus four is 24 out of 26. Okay, so again, be aware of what you're doing, but we did the and, so that's 12 out of, or uh, two, I'm sorry, two out of 13. There we go. Okay, next, so I there's gonna be two problems. There's an and and an or problem for this baseball, basketball, make sure you know how to do uh, the right problem. All right, next problem coming is gonna be a spinner problem. Here we go. Okay. So it says there is a spinner with 13 equal areas numbered 1 through 13. If the spinner is spun one time, what is the probability that the result is a multiple of three, 4 or a multiple of 3? Okay, so because the spinner is, spin, uh, is numbered 1 through 13, there are 13 outcomes, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, or 13. So. Uh, we have a multiple of four or a multiple of three. So what are your multiples of four? Well, the first one is four, and then you double four to get eight, and then you triple four to get 12, and that's it. And then the multiples of three, you start with three, double it to get six, three times three is nine, three times four is 12, and that's it. So if we want a multiple of four or a multiple of three, well, that would be, uh, these three numbers, 4, 8, 12, and then these four numbers, 3, 6, 9, and 12. But you can't count the 12 twice, so don't do it. So there's six total numbers out of the 13, and that'd be the probability. Now, what if it said and? Well, if it has to be a multiple of 4 and a multiple of 3, then that 12 that you crossed off is actually the only answer to that question because the 12 is the only one they both have in common. So for the and, the answer would be one out of 13. So be aware of the difference here, but our answer is six out of 13. Okay, next problem's coming. Okay, so now we have a two-way table. It says, in a class of students, the following data summarizes uh, how many students have a brother or sister? What is the probability that a student chosen randomly from the class has a sister? 
Well, first off, I don't see any totals. So let's add a column here for the total and a row here for the total. So add down, add across. 4 plus 6 is 10. Uh, 10 plus 3 is 13. Add across. 4 plus 10 is 14. 6 plus 3 is 9. And now if you add this final column, 14 and 9 is 23. Double check. Add this bottom row. 10 plus 13 is 23. So this is good. We want to find the probability of having a sister. So the probability of having a sister. Well, how many people have a sister? It's right here. 14. So 14 people out of a sister out of a total of 23 students. And there we go. That does not simplify. That's your answer. 14 out of 23. Let's do one more of these. Okay, the next problem here, it says, in a class of students, the following table summarizes how many students play an instrument or a sport. What is the probability that a student chosen randomly from the class plays a sport or an instrument? Okay, so we can add the totals. So we have our total column, our total row. Plays a sport, uh, five, two, that's seven. Does not play a sport, four, 12, that's 16. Uh, down, plays an instrument, five plus four is nine. Does not play an instrument, two plus 12 is 14. Add across, nine and, 12, nine and 14 is 23. Add down, seven and 16 is 23, good. Okay, so now we want a sport or an instrument. So who plays a sport? Well, that's these seven. Who plays an instrument? Well, that's these nine. But then there's a group that plays both, right there, that five. You're counting it twice, so subtract it one time, and that's gonna be out of 23. 7 plus 9 is 16, minus 1 is 11 out of 23. Okay, uh, last problem coming here. Let's take a look. All right. Here we go. So it says the probability of A is 0.8. The probability of B is 0.62. And the probability of A, this is or, or B, uh, is 0.874. Find the value of the probability of A and B, rounding to the nearest thousandths. So this is an and. So we're going to use this general rule. So the general rule is the probability of A or B. That's or. That's bad or. Let me do it again. The probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. I'm gonna, I got to write this again. There's not enough, not enough space. Sorry. So the probability of A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B, okay? So we're given the probability of A is 0.8, the probability of B is 0.62, and this is the probability of A or B, so that actually goes first, that's 0.874, that's in front of the equal sign. And we, we, want, to, we want to find the probability of A and B, that's and, so let's just call that X. So we need to solve this for x, right? So let's add those two together. So 0.874 equals 0.8 and 0.62 is 1.42. We need to subtract 1.42 on both sides. I'm going to do it on a dinky calculator. So 0.874 minus 1.42. That's negative 0.546. That's going to equal negative x. So the 1 point, the 1.42s cancel. And then that just divide by negative to make that positive. And your x is 0.546. That is the probability of a and b, 0.546. That's just knowing how to use a formula. There we go. Okay, so uh, if you have any questions on these problems, just ask me during class. Uh, otherwise, uh, good luck.